Hey guys, Gary here with a quick video talking about should you buy used Red Wing boots? Um, I love Red Wing. I love their products. I think they're fantastic quality. Um, but should you buy their boots used and specifically should you buy their heritage line used? The answer is yes, you can, but you need to be aware of a couple of things. So first off, um, what we've got here are most of my Red Wings. I have a pair of Iron Rangers on right now, also used. Um, all of these were, were used, um, and there are a few things that, that I've learned along the way. First being um, what to look for. So the leather quality on these is really nice so that if they're beat up or damaged, you can usually repair it pretty easily. Um, so I don't worry about the leather quality too much. A good uh, cleaning and conditioner does wonders and it adds character and I think it looks great. The first thing you probably want to check is the sole. So this is a pair of their work chuckas from the Heritage line. Uh, if the sole is too worn out, you probably want to avoid them. And the reason being, you can get them resold, right? That's one of the benefits. But if you're buying them used, you're probably looking for cost savings. And if you have to resold them immediately, you basically cut out your cost savings. So unless you get them at a really cheap deal, uh, don't get ones that have a completely worn out sole. The next thing that I've learned to be very aware of is, and, and this is more of a lottery, to be honest. There's no real way to check this before you get the boot or the shoe. Um, with the Heritage line, right, you've got the, the most of the shoe, you've got the insole, the sole, and uh, the insole actually has a thin layer of cork. And the idea, right, is that as you wear and break in the boot, um, that layer of cork molds to your foot. So it becomes basically a custom insole and then they're, they're custom molded boots for your foot, which I, I really believe Red Wing kind of plans on their boots, their heritage line being a one owner boot. And the reason for that is with that layer of cork, what happens so like on these, these are the Red Wing Roughnecks. Um, again, love the design, love the quality. They're fantastic tread, right? Everything about them I love but I've had a hard time wearing them because the previous owner wore them enough that that layer of cork molded to his foot and his foot is apparently different enough from my foot where when I wear them, they hurt quite a bit. Now, I'm, I've tried a few things. I've put some super thin insoles in that helps a little bit. I've tried to just wear them until that layer of cork kind of remolds or at least gets flattened, um, but it's something to be aware of that a boot you buy could already have somebody else's foot impression in. So those are kind of the two things to look out for. Now on the flip side of that, you can get some fantastic deals. So like these boots right here, these are their um, Postman series. Uh, let's see, what number are you? The 9197s. And I got these off of Facebook Marketplace essentially brand new for $35 plus shipping. So it ended up being like 45 bucks, which is insane for a pair of boots like these. And because they were, they'd only been worn a couple times, they hadn't been broken in by the previous owner. So I didn't have the insole problem. So now they're broken into my shoe foot and they feel absolutely fantastic. One of my, one of my favorite pairs of boots for sure. Um, next thing you probably want to ask is, do you need to get your exact size? Should you go bigger? You know, stuff like that. Um, so this right here is a pair of the Beckman 9016s. Um, again, love the boot, love the little bit of uh, tread on it. This is size 11. I typically wear a 10 and a half, so they're a little bit big for me and my foot was sloshing around a little bit. Um, if you buy used and you go half size or so bigger, just throw uh, an insole in there. So I put like a Dr. Scholl's you know, gel in here and then it tightens the fit up enough. And so the thing for me is I buy a lot of my boots and I want a lot of options because I change what I wear and I feel like wearing different things all the time. Um, by having these options, it, I'm not really committed to one boot. So I don't care if the fit is entirely perfect. It just needs to be comfortable enough that I can wear it for a full day without getting annoyed. It doesn't have to be my lifelong boot. Um, my Iron Rangers, which I'm wearing right now, are probably my favorite. I bought those used. They had been broken in, and my foot just happened to be close enough to that person's where they fit great, um, and it, it was a good thing. So if you look at the shoes that I've got here, including the pair that are on my feet, I've got five pairs. Out of those five, 
These ones had been molded to somebody else's foot that did not fit me. These ones have been molded to somebody else's foot that didn't fit, but it was only off a little bit. So I'm in the process of re-breaking these guys in. These were a little bit big, so an insole fit uh, slid in, made them fit perfectly. And then these guys were essentially brand new, so they fit to my feet just wonderful. And then the ones I'm wearing, uh, my foot was close enough to the previous owners that they fit and then molded, and now they're some of the most comfortable. So there you have it. If you're looking at buying used Red Wings, uh, specifically the Heritage line, because of the, the insole is not removable, you can't take it out, so it's that cork is in there, that's in there for good. Uh, just be aware that the, the leather you can fix up, the sole you can retread, that insole you can't replace. So if it's molded to somebody else's foot and it's too different from yours, right? maybe they walked a little different, you know, weight in different places, it can cause some pain and discomfort um, and it, it will take a break-in period to kind of flatten that out. So just to be aware of, um, yes, you can buy used Red Wing Heritage boots, it's a great way to save costs, especially if you're like me and you want a, a few different options, but just be aware uh, of some of the potential downsides. Anyway, that's it guys. We'll see you in the next one.